What is going on, hybrid shooters? It's Jason Vaughn. Welcome back to another Gear Talk Thursday, a weekly video series where I either showcase a new piece of gear or a current one that I'm using that I want to give a little mini review on. So in this video, in this week's video, I want to talk about my new favorite gimbal setup for wedding films and really just any sort of one-man production work. So as you guys know, we love using the Zhuyun Crane 1 and recently the Crane Plus to get cinematic shots of our couples um, just because of the lightweight form factor of this gimbal. It's easy to pack, it's easy to carry around. You can see all of the, my reasonings for my love for this Crane Plus gimbal in my review. But we love using it with the Sony a7R 3 and the a7 III just because they have fantastic autofocus. We love using the light prime lenses, the bodice 18 from Zeiss, 25 from Zeiss, and the 5518 also from Zeiss. We just, we just love using those combinations. And we get stunning video results out of them. However, when you're using prime lenses, you are of course stuck to that one look, that one focal length. Now you can argue and say, why not just use clear image zoom or super 35 mode to get a different look, to get a closer look um, while using the same prime lens. Now you definitely can. However, when you're shooting 60p or 120p slow motion in 1080p, you're gonna see a bit of an image degradation when you are using those features. If you're shooting 4K, that's fine, it's totally cool. You're not gonna see that much of an image degradation from using 4K, but for 1080p, you're gonna see a little bit of that. So the issue that we've been running uh, into at weddings now is that we don't have a lot of time uh, shooting with the couple for their romantic session. Um, for videos, we love to shoot these romantic sessions to uh, have these hero shots of our couples for their weddings. Um, as you guys know, at a, on a wedding day, things run late, things get pushed back, and usually things, other things get shortened, and it's usually the wedding romantic session. So we have to work really fast with a couple to get the shots that we need. Usually it will be the second shooter who goes out to the wedding ceremony site or the reception hall to get prep for those events, set up tripods, set up cameras, get the audio recorder ready, while the first shooter follows the wedding couple along with the photographer to get those romantic shots. Now either me or my friend Eric, when we're on the gimbal and we're using those prime lenses, Again, we're stuck with that one look. Oftentimes we don't even have time to switch out lenses just because of the limited time that we have with the couple. So we're either stuck on the 25 millimeter or the 55 millimeter. So we ended up just getting these one shots of the couple when we're putting together their wedding film. So what I decided was recently is to try out something new, something different try out the BBC. Now the Crane 2 can support heavy lens setup, the heavy zoom lens setup, G Master 24 to 70 f 2.8, 16 to 35, and I can zoom across all those focal lengths on the Crane 2 without having to rebalance, thus saving us a lot of time. You know, I can get uh, wide shots and tight shots extremely quickly, and you're seeing those results right now. Most of these footage came from the G Master 24 to 70. Now, the trick to this is to balance your setup at the middle. Um, for, for the 24 to 70, I would say try to balance it at around 45 millimeter, 50 millimeter. That way, when you're zooming to 24 or 70, it doesn't shift the balance too much. Now, keep in mind though, when you are zooming, you are changing the balance, you're shifting the center of gravity. Therefore, the motors have to work extra harder to compensate for that imbalance. But it still works, it works great. However, keep in mind, your battery will be draining a lot quicker. Now, if your setup falls under the, or falls at the payload, the Crane 2 will last 18 hours, no problem. But again, when you're straining the motor like that, you're gonna get way less than that. Um, uh, the first set of battery still managed to last me close to the end of the wedding, um, but having a second set of batteries just gives you a peace of mind. So if you are gonna be using this type of setup, I would highly recommend having an extra set of battery for the Crane 2. Now, we still prefer to use the Crane Plus just because it is a much skinnier gimbal. It is easier to grip, whereas the Crane 2 has a much thicker grip, this BBC right here. <laughs> Uh, it's much harder to grip. I had friends, um, the ones that I shoot weddings with, um, they got a chance to use this for a little bit. And they're just like, man, how do you do this? Like, this is so heavy. I feel like my hands are cramping up after 30 minutes just because of how thick the handle is. But the trade-off is, again, you're, you're, you'll be able to use your zoom lenses 
um, your 2.8 zoom lenses, you're getting different looks out of it, wide, tight, and all that. And it's just much easier for me at a run and gun situation. I can get tight shots, I can wide, get wide shots all on one setup without having to keep on changing lenses. So I would say, again, uh, favorite gimbal setup at weddings or any sort of one-man production work. This just makes our life a lot easier. Okay, maybe not making our lives easier while we're using the gimbal, but def definitely gives us a lot more flexibility when we're editing the wedding videos at the end. By the way guys, let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna see more wedding film tutorials from me. I'm thinking about doing like a month long uh, video series on just purely wedding films. There's gonna be some other stuff going on as well for the hybrid shooting side for photography, but definitely this month I wanna concentrate a little bit more on producing wedding film tutorials. And then next month, maybe jump on to something else just because right now it is wedding season and I wanna get as much information out there as possible as to how we shoot our wedding films and what are some of the tips and tricks that we picked up over the last three years that I really want to share with you guys. So let me know in the comments down below if that is something that you want to see. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of those results that I've gotten on the Crane 2 and the 24-70G Master. And while you're at it, hit me up on Instagram and tag me in your dopest shot using a gimbal. My handle's at Jason V Media. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.